Hello and welcome to another update video about say yeah say I think it is still reasonable to expect another high here in wave five or five of three so one more high is still a reasonable expectation here um, obviously this sort of triangle that we were tracking broke to the downside leaves definitely room for this alternative wave C which we discussed in previous videos as well uh, by the way let me move that support area a little bit to the right here because it could be relevant again. Yeah, so what are the two scenarios here? So the white count at the moment still seems to be in control, but it's starting to lose control. It will lose control below 72 cents. In the white count, we're dealing with um, obviously a wave four low here, okay, on the 23rd of January. Then this would be a wave one, a wave two, a wave three. Then we talked about, okay, is the wave four already in? Maybe, maybe, maybe. And then we could be in wave five now. Um, the structure here is a complete mess so it, it could literally be like there could be a lot of different stuff that's going on here i've labeled it as um a b with possibly a c wave to come b wave okay that load did not break below the previous one leaves this technically intact what wasn't the case was that the b wave was a triangle um but yeah we just need to be open in in these corrective structures to changes in the microstructure as I always say we don't trade the count we trade the levels so the levels are clear support at 77.6 cents that did hold 20 uh, and 72.5 only below 72.5 the assumption that this could be the white count changes because then this pullback is too deep to be reliable it will not be invalidated but it will lose um, credibility and the likelihood reduces more in favor of the yellow count which should send us back into this yellow support, no, not into the orange support area in the yellow count, because the yellow uh, the yellow count is um, a larger A, B, C. So that means we have two counts to uh, to consider here. Both, however, are still bullish. Yeah, both still allow for one more high, just the yellow one with a deeper pullback. Okay, but the direction I think is at the moment still up. And if we get a pullback into the yellow support area, it might be another buy opportunity. It's quite simple. So we are basically hovering between the orange support area down there and the upside target area. And I would like to see the price get minimally to $1.07, but better into this region here, $1.21, maybe even $1.30. I think all of that is reasonable. And the question is, does it happen in the white count and the yellow count or the yellow count? How can we distinguish between them? Again, I just told you 72.5 cents. If we get a sustained break below that level, then it's likely the yellow count. So essentially we're looking for um, further upside either in the white or the yellow count. And if we have two scenarios like that, where in one scenario we could see basically another low, then it's worth to know, okay, what is the support area that distinguishes the two? I just gave you that one. And it's worth having a technical answer to that because essentially is we're looking for up or down movement right um, which is uh, what markets do okay but the question is how do you deal with that well it's very simple tactically speaking there is a support area down there buy and if it goes up sell okay it's 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 quite straightforward um, so yeah sometimes markets uh, are <laughs> expected to go up or down that's typically what they do and uh, I always laugh when people people comment that. Um, but but th the question is not if it's going up or down. That's what markets do. That's hopefully common sense. It's how, how do you deal with that? And the analysis tells you how to approach that potentially because we are bullish as long as the lower support area is holding. So any pullback can be a buy opportunity. Any rally can be a sell opportunity. Just be aware that at the moment, as long as we're holding the um, the upper support area, it is quite reasonable to expect more direct move to the upside here. And I gave you the next levels to watch, which again, in summary, $1.07 would be my minimum target, but it would be very, very weak wave five then. Um, better would be $1.21. Yeah. And yeah, if we get that C wave pullback, watch the area between 63 cents and 51.9 for potential support. And then we have to start the wave five again, because then wave four, which at the moment in the white count is presumed to have finished on the 23rd of Jan. Um, well, that never finished. Okay, it would then just be here. Okay, that's my update about Say, hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.